what's up y'all you already know this your rock star wicked witch <laughs> Tiffany, let's get into this video. Experience in Scientology. Oh, okay. So, uh... <laughs> so what? What? What brought you to Scientology? Uh, homelessness. Um, I was uh, homeless, and I was uh, trying to get me a job as an extra, and I was standing in the line of Central Casting. And this man came up to me and he said, if you're trying to be an entertainer, we have a program that'll help you. And I was like, look, man. Boom. Right there, say it all. A lot of y'all out there think Scientology would not help anyone. She just said it right there. You heard what she said? Homeless, nowhere to go, basically. And here comes help to the rescue. So what's the problem? Where the issue at right there? Come on, you know everyone out there in Hollywood wanna be big actors or actresses or you know, be big in the music biz. <laughs> that rent will eat you up. It's expensive out here if you're trying to make it for real and they here to help. Let's go. And he was like, oh, you should come down to our center. We can help you. We can help you. And so then I went down there and, like, you know, went through the whole orientation and stuff. And he was like, you know, you don't have to sleep in your car. You could you could work here. You could be here at the, uh, at, at the Church of Scientology. And, you know, we don't have anyone like you. And you're so good with the community. And we're getting ready to open up some places in, in Inglewood and South Central Los Angeles that you could potentially run and be a part of. I was like, okay. And then I saw. Come on, man. Who's really coming to you like that? Like, I'm willing to help and I'm willing to go to different communities and help as well. And y'all got a problem with that? Stop playing, man. Come on. It's like a billion year contract. I was like, uh. <laughs> where I would be sleeping, like when you're in the like the boot camp portion or whatever, um, is bunk beds. I don't do bunk beds. I, I don't mess with bunk beds. Bunk beds are dangerous. I don't fuck with bunk beds because from when I was in McLaren Hall, yeah. you know, they, there's only like, if that bunk bed's up in the corner, there's only two ways out that bunk bed. And if somebody trying to mess with you, and if there's two of them or three or more, you know, boom, they block you. You can't get out that bunk bed. Now you got to curl up and take that out. Alright, that right there tell you she been through a lot. You been through a lot, Tiffany, for real. And that trauma just got to you right there. And it's so crazy because at the same time, you doing your thing right now. You, you successful, you doing your thing. But I'm pretty sure you could have been way more successful. And that's when a lot of different things came into play and just blocked certain blessings trust i'm not doing that wow i don't do bunk beds right so when they was like you gonna sleep here i was like i'm not sleeping there we gonna make a pallet on the floor or something i ain't sleeping there i'd rather sleep on the floor i ain't sleeping there i ain't sleeping in no bunk bed they was like no you gonna have to sleep in a bunk bed i was like i ain't sleeping in a bunk bed then they was like no that you gonna sleep in this bunk bed and they left and i was like i'm not sleeping in no bunk bunk bed and i was like loud and everything and it was like just me and like these little white girls with blonde hair and they were like oh my god <laughs> it's just a bunk bed like <laughs> Oh, like, tell me about the cans. You're holding the cans. Yeah, the cans. They call them the cans. And, like, it's supposed to, you hold on to that and you talk about whatever, like, makes you emotional or whatever. And it's supposed to uh, gauge your energy. And mm. then you keep telling the story over and over and over again. And eventually, the energy meter's supposed to read low. And then, like, you're good, right? But mine was, I told the story, probably, like, I was there for, like, four or five hours telling the same story over and over. Like, I said, this why I don't do perfect. Like, it, it never, the man was like, yeah, like, it's supposed to be over here. I'm like, yeah, I don't do it. I keep telling you. I, I don't get, I ain't sleeping in no bunk bed. Like, so. 
by like four or five in the morning, they was like, you can go. And it's just <laughs> <laughs> Forget the billion year contract. Wow. <laughs> you heard what she said. She made it clear you could go. They not trying to keep no one. They all about helping. And if you come in, in there and you trying to cause a lot of issues and you know, try to bash them, you could go. Same thing for you, Leah. You there just trying to bash, bash, bash. You could go, but you just want to stay. That's it, y'all. What's up, y'all? You already know this your rock star, Wicked Witch. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and follow my channel. Want to support my channel? The link and all of the information is in the bio, all right? Y'all make sure y'all hit up the Celebrity Center to set up a meet and greet with me, your rock star, Wicked Witch. Email seminars at celebritycenter.org. That's S-E-M-I-N-A-R-S at C-E-L-E-B-R-I-T-Y-C-E-N-T-R-E dot O-R-G. All right? You already know. This your rock star, Wicked Witch. Welcome to Wicked Witch World. <laughs> <laughs>